Hey everyone, this is Eric Hunter here, and I'm with Robin Shade. And we want to talk about um, effective dowsing. Uh, Robin has some really cool examples, and I wanted to learn more about what she's doing or what she's done in the past with the effective dowsing with her pendulum. So, Robin, um, I you told me that you were working in an, like an auto repair store, and you, you had some really amazing stories there. Um, was there something you'd like to share from that experience of how you use the effective dowsing at your job at the auto repair place? Yeah, I uh, ran a auto body shop. Um, it was almost all exclusively men. And I had no trouble kind of managing everything because I really used my pendulum almost daily um, to assist me in making a lot of decisions and because the auto body industry is so up in the air and it depends on when parts are going to come in um, is the insurance company going to approve something is the customer going to approve something there's a lot of time frames with rent a cars and out-of-pocket expenses and um I really use the pendulum daily to make a lot of these decisions and kind of prioritize what I'm giving my attention to when. And so I did want to share a little bit about that. Yeah. So how did, how did the men like play into, like how did, how did that factor play into it? In the beginning, it was a little difficult because it, you know, it's a very male dominated industry. But because they got so much assistance um, from me by using my pendulum that they were all for it. Um, the way it works is it's not that they get just paid per hour, but they get paid for performance. So if they were able to get more cars out or show that they did more work than they were their quota for that day, they got bonused out. Oh, okay. And so I would approach them and do it more coming from a way of, I, I could get you like an extra $500 this week if you want. And they would be like, you know, I was speaking their language. Oh, and I see. So when was, I not yeah. only got them that extra $500, but was even getting them more. And even my boss was to the point where he's like, you know, if we can make this quota, I'll bonus everybody out, like oh, an wow. extra whatever, or a day off, or you know whatever. And I'd say you're on, and we we did a hundred percent. We were on target, and it was because they kind of let me have free reign with kind of how I was making calls and what I was telling everybody to do and why. And they knew they saw me working with the pendulum. They didn't really know to the extent of what I was doing. I didn't have my Akashic at the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, I actually used the Hunter Healer though. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's I would really walk cool. around with that's the Hunter Healer <laughs> and um, they were, they'd come to me and say, uh, this isn't working. Can you do something? <laughs> and I was like, well, I'll try. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. But um, yeah, most of the time it worked. But they got to the point where they could see the results. They didn't understand how it got there. They didn't care. It was just end result oriented. <laughs> and so they would just come into the office and say, can you do something about this? Here's my problem. And then we would just go from there. Okay, so you, when you were saying men, you meant like these guys were stereotypical males, like, you know, they're very like analytical, problem solver types, you know, and, and then you show, you got more of a feminine approach with reading energy and using the pendulum. And so I see what you're saying, how you integrated more of a feminine way. So maybe give us a specific example, like a concrete example of one of the memorable ones where you did that, where you made it more efficient or you got them, got them help make a quota. Um, our and body shop the for that? was or is very, um, it's all Mercedes, Ferrari. So it's, we were taking care of all the real high end uh, repairs. Yeah. So we were a specialized body shops. And so it was not uncommon for us to be um, working with cars that were $100,000 and up to purchase. 
And right. so they would ask me, you know, if there was a, a Ferrari coming in and a body shop is very tight, it's tight run. Um, it's also, we pack the cars in because space is very limited where I was working. And so they would ask me, where do you want to park this car? And I would actually douse where I wanted that car because once the car hits the body shop, we are 100% responsible for any nick, anything that goes wrong with that car. Right. We have to repair it. So, you know, just if a car even gets a nail in the tire, that's a $2,000 repair. Okay. And that's on us. Yeah, so, so you would use, you would say like, well, where like where in the shop is have the best energy for the car? Like, and well, you, at the time you were just coming out with the system. Yes, yeah, um, so you call it like blue green. I would say kind of say what what's the color of this spot, and right. if I would get you know like a you know kind of a negative color, I would say no, and I would keep going until I got this is the perfect spot. It was showing me a great color. That's where I parked it. Never had a problem. Never yeah. Never had a problem. Yeah. So for those of you listening, that's what we're going to teach in this course. We've re like, we've revised this system a lot since Robin was first doing it. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, so we're going to show you like with the chart, how you can read the energy of a decision of a choice. Mm -hmm. And it's not predicting the future. It's reading the energy of what would happen if you do something. So it's, it's a subtle difference between predicting the future. It's not saying is something going to happen or not, but it's saying what would happen if I make this decision. And then you can see like what the effect would be and you can actually use the pendulum to read the energy. So we're going to be teaching that in the course. That, that's really cool. Could you give another example, maybe a different one at the body shop of how you were using the, uh, the effective dowsing system? Yeah. Um, um, I, at the time I was living in Hawaii and the shipping time for parts is probably seven to 10 days. You know, sometimes it could be a little bit sooner, but these parts are big and they're very heavy. And so I would use the um, energy dowsing or the effective dowsing um, to kind of put our cars into order. So if I had one car that I had a big major part coming in, I would kind of douse what the probability of that car, um, that part arriving, like say it was supposed to come on Tuesday. And if I didn't see that I got like a good color, then I would kind of push that one back a little bit on my back burner. And then if I had another car that I could see that the part arriving on time had a good energy, I would actually slot that one higher on the priority list. And that's how I would do it. And so these are very big parts. Lots of things can go wrong. And so sometimes even when in ordering a part, if we had to special order a part, and I had from you know two or three people that we could possibly order from, I actually doused each company and then made the decision on which one we were going to actually go with. That wasn't the only thing I based it on, but I would narrow my decisions down to a, you know, like a select two or three. And then I actually would check the energy of each. And then if there was a decisive difference, like these two didn't have great energy, but this one did, I'd say, go with this one. And okay. it worked every time. Yeah, this is really good. I want to stop you right here so I can, so for those of you listening right now, like, the difference between what Robin did and what we're going to teach in this course and between regular dowsing is like regular dowsing would be like, would the part come on time? Yes or no. Or what's the probability of it coming on time or something like that. But, but Robin wasn't checking that at all. She's like, what's the energy of it coming on time? And if it was like an ideal color, like, you know, the summertime energy, blue, green, it would be like, yeah, that's gonna, that part's going to come on time. But if it was like winter energy or maybe fall energy, like white or the gray or negative green or, or black or infrared, something like that, it would be like, well, that, that part's not going to come for a while. So that's how she was basing it. She wasn't doing it using traditional dowsing questions or even techniques. There wasn't like a number line, like what's the probability of or whatever or yes or no, it was what is the energy around this thing coming on time? So I think that's a pretty cool thing, and it's a major distinction that separates this system from other dowsing systems that are out there.
So, yeah, so do you agree with that, Robin? <laughs> Definitely. It was, um, I think in the beginning, I was using like charts, you know, probability charts, one to 10 charts. And I just wasn't feeling that I was getting accurate reads. And that's when I kind of made that shift over to reading the energy surrounding that situation. It's, it's very accurate. I mean, things are going to change. You know, I mean, it's just reading that very moment. What's, what's the probability kind of of everything um, happening as it is, but it's pretty accurate. And I based majority of my decisions um, on the reading the energy. Yeah. And you were making those goals and getting your coworkers bonuses and yes. days off. And, and it wasn't just that I was making, making customers decisions. happy. So I was uh, backing it up with bonuses. Right. So, you know, <laughs> right. This is pretty, this is pretty serious. So yeah. I think that's really awesome. Thanks for sharing a little bit about what you were doing with this system. Um, and I think, yeah. So if, if anyone, if you have an interest in this course, it's going to go live um, this weekend and it's already been recorded, but it, it, it uh, has a live component. So I'm going to, I'm going to share a screen here and just show you where you can find this. So the course is on my website. Um, pendulumhealing.com and if you scroll down it says upcoming courses effective dowsing accurate information from your pendulum and just click that and then there's a link to the course here and the course is at a special sales price right now and highly recommend this course it's a really cool way to do dowsing that's that's different than other systems that are out there and we present you with really detailed charts that allow you to read the energy and interpret what the energy means so that you can get very nuanced answers with many different layers of information, much more than a typical dowsing chart or a typical yes, no thing or a number scale, or even a chart with like, where you have one of those things with all those different things listed on it, like a bunch of different illnesses or a bunch of different statements. This is way more effective and it gives you a lot of ability to interpret what's going on. So like, especially if you have some minor psychic ability or intuitive ability, you can really use this to hone in on things. Definitely. But even if you don't, it's still very effective and you can use it in a very simplistic way to get, what's the energy of this? Is the energy good or bad? <laughs> what's the energy yeah. of this? Is it good or bad? And you can oh. really take this system. So this is kind of like the beginner, like intro, really getting solid with the basics of how to use it. Um, but, you know, this is kind of going to be like the basics of some additional taking it further. Yeah, course. definitely. Yeah, because we there's like a whole bunch of stuff we've developed and we're going to share in the future based on this. So it's a good yeah. foundation, of course. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Robin. And uh, thanks, everyone, for watching here. We will... Uh, do your pendulum work <laughs> and uh, we will see you later. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.